Hi everyone, my name is Claire O'Dowd. I'm the Electronic Resources Librarian at Rockland Community College. This video is a library research tutorial for the Nursing 111 classes research assignment on culturally competent nursing care. In this video, I'm going to walk you through finding scholarly journal articles for this assignment. First, we'll look at a nursing specific database, and then we'll check out two large union databases that search multiple databases at once. We'll also take a look at the Nursing Research Guide on the library homepage, as well as resources for citing and formatting in APA style. Now, the easiest way to find the library homepage, if you don't want to directly type in the address, is through my RCC and by clicking on the library link under My Apps. If, you, if at any point you need help doing research for this assignment or any other assignment at RCC, please feel free to reach out to a librarian. Currently, all the librarians are remote this semester, so the easiest way to find us is by clicking on this orange Ask Us button, and you can instant message us. The LibChat feature now also features screen sharing, which we have found very helpful since we're not working with people face to face. You can also find other ways to reach us by going under Research Help and the Ask Us link on the bottom left of the page. And here you can text us and you can email us. You can call the phone number, but it will just be the CERC staff that's physically in the library. So you can text us or chat us during library open hours or you can email us at any time. Now to finding articles. First, I'm going to go to, right above Ask Us under Search Tools, I'm going to go to Databases by Subject. And I'm gonna scroll down to Nursing and Allied Health. And in the middle here is a list of all nursing related databases. So some of them will be more generic databases that contain nursing content. Some will be with mostly scholarly journal articles. Some of them, like you can see at the top here, contain nursing videos. I'm going to go to this third one, EBSCO CINAHL Plus with full text. And each link here will give you a little summary of what's in each database. I know I have academic nursing journals in this one. It's going to ask me to sign in. It's just the same RCC username and password you use for everything else. And that will get you into the databases off campus. Now the biggest challenge with this assignment is finding articles that are not studies. You want to find a secondary source with a more narrative background that contains generally accepted facts. Different professors may have different degrees of leniency in regards to this. Um, I've known some to allow studies that do provide a lot of background info in the beginning or in their intros or background, or background info throughout the article in, in addition to the study findings. Some professors are very strict about it not being a study, so you should always check with them. For example, let's say your assignment is to do the cultural beliefs and practices in regards to health with American Indian cultures. I can use all those words or similar ones to find a relevant article. So I could use keywords like Native American, American Indian, culture, health, beliefs, practices. You could also try narrowing by tribe, which could possibly give you too few results, but it's always worth a shot if you want to check it out. This is educated trial and error. To start, I'm going to use the keywords American Indian and health practices. I'm going to check peer review and full text. I'm 
And I check the ladder so that we don't get items where we only have ac access to the abstract and not the full articles. We do have interlibrary loan back up and running this semester. Um, ILL is free and involves us asking another library for copies, usually in the case of articles, PDFs, um, of requested articles. But basically our library borrows something on your behalf. I'm not sure what the turnaround time will be this semester. Um, but earlier it was generally a few days. You might want to give it more time than that. But for right now, I'm just going to check full text in an attempt to eliminate those abstract only articles. So I have my keywords and I have full text and peer review. So I'm going to search this. And the first one I have is American Indian Breastfeeding Attitudes and Practices in Minnesota. Now this looks like a study and most of your results will probably be studies. And that's the fun part. Um, it looks very specific. It's talking about Minnesota. It's got subject headings here, like adult 19 to 44 years female. That's usually a sign of a study. Let's click into and take a look. Actually going to take a look at the abstract and I can see here there are objective methods, numerical stats. That's usually a sign that it is a study. So I am going to look elsewhere. I'm going to go back on one of my browser and I'm going to keep scrolling through. I'm going to try this one, number four, spiritual support for Native American Indian patients. And I'm going to take a look at the abstract again. This one doesn't look like they have a full abstract. Usually studies have generally very detailed abstracts because the authors of the study do need to submit um, generally detailed abstracts to academic journals. The purpose of this article is to share information on how Woodwinds Hospital, Woodbury, Minnesota, supports the request of Native American families to incorporate their spiritual health practices into their birth experience. This is a specific hospital, but it looks like it's sharing general information for other healthcare providers. So to access the article, I'm going to click on the PDF link in the upper left. And I'm looking through the text of it. And while the beginning of this article does share an anecdote of one woman's request, it seems like they went ahead and looked up more general information to better serve um, that particular mother and people like her. So it's giving us info about Native American religious ceremonies. So this might be a contender. If I wanted to go save the article, you can do it from here, but I'm going to show you from the record page because it's a little bit easier to see. If you're logged into your Gmail, you can save it to your drive. You can also email it to yourself. And when you email it to yourself, you can give yourself the APA citation that goes in the end of your reference list. You can also download the PDF directly to your device if you're working on your own device. I always like to err on the side of having a copy of the article either on my device or on my personal accounts. Even if you email yourself the permalink, you would still need to log back into my RCC through the easy proxy, which gets you into the databases. So in case there's something wrong with database access one day or you forget your password, um, I always like to have my own copy. And it's very easy because it's very fast to save these articles and it doesn't cost you anything further. It's also good to save articles because even if you remember you're searching from day to day, if you remember what keywords and what filters you used, search results can change from a day to day. Databases might gain or lose access to journals and 
journals come out with different issues all the time. So the same search might have different results on a different day. This article is a little brief and it's a little bit older. So I am going to go back and play around with my search. I think I'm going to narrow my keywords a little bit. I think I'm going to replace health practices with older adults. It's a nursing database, so you may not always need the keyword health in order to indi indicate, you know, a medical article. And I think my date range was a little bit too broad, so I'm going to make this from 2015 to 2020. I'm going to scroll down from here. Some of these look like they might be studies. Others look like they may not necessarily have anything to do with treatment. I'm going to try this one. First rural community Indian country. Now I'm going to take a look at my abstract. Looks like this abstract is talking about two particular tribes um, and how they meet older adults' needs, address transportation, nutrition, housing, and long-term care. So it looks like this article does provide current stats, but not ones that are a result of a study. It looks like they're citing other people for the numbers that they got. And gives a general background on each tribe and briefly describes how they take care of certain challenges affecting older adults in their community. And this one is from 2019, so it's fairly recent. I'm just going to skip back to that landing page and the databases aren't perfect, so just to show you an interesting quirk in this one, this one has been improperly indexed, probably by a human being, as being India. So that's pretty rare, but occasionally that happens. So this database, CINAHL, is nursing specific. It's a very solid nursing database. Um, we usually like to start out with this one. But I'm also going to show you on the home page a couple kind of large union multi-search databases that cover all topics, not just nursing, and include all types of sources, including academic journal articles, but also books, streaming videos, and newspaper articles. So I'm going to shut my tabs off. And I'm going to go right to this very large search bar in the middle of the library homepage. So this search bar will take us to our database called Primo. I'm going to try a different culture now. Let's try just Muslim and health beliefs. And while you can start off with filters in an advanced search, you can also filter from your search page. So I'm going to click peer review journals. And I'm going to scroll down and give it the same date filters, 2015 to 2020. This database, if you change something like the keywords, it does like to erase your filters. So I'm going to lock these so that it will remember my filters. And I'm going to try this one, Cultural Competence and Counseling the Muslim Patient, Implications for Mental Health. And from here I can do a couple things. I can actually sign into this database, which I'm going to do at the top. Because I already logged in 
to the databases earlier, it remembers me. Otherwise, you'll just get a MyRCC sign-on page. In this case, what I can do is you will have to sign specifically back into this database, but I can save items. I don't want to save this first article. I click on that pin. And I can also save my query, which I think is pretty useful. So let's say I'm going to go click on this pin. I'm going to go to my favorites and I can see my saved records. And if I go to save searches, I can see the saved searches and it saved the search I just did. Um, and this is a really good way to keep track of your own thought process. And search history will just show me what I've done in that one session. I'm going to go back to my search results. And I'm interested in this article at the bottom, Cultural Competence in Counseling the Muslim Patient, Implications for Mental Health. You can also see on this article and the one above it, there are these little icons with arrows. And what those icons are, are citation trackers. So what the citation tracker does is it will list, if Primo has it, in either full text or an abstract, um, articles that are cited in the reference list of the article you have chosen or later articles that cite that article. So it's very handy in finding relevant sources and it also you know, documents the conversation um, between professionals that have written those articles. So for this one, I can find sources citing this. And so far it just has one, but I have direct access to it. It's available online. So I can go and read that. And this article cites the article at hand in their list of references. Sometimes on the reload, it doesn't like to reload the citation tracker. I'll click and do it anyway. This one doesn't have anything for the reference list, but you may find that associated with other articles. Now this will give me the APA citation if I click on citation. So it's the one that will go in your reference list. You can grab the, e the permalink or you can email yourself the permalink, but from here you can only get the permalink and not the full text of the article. So anytime you're in Primo, you want to go down to this view online section because that'll take you to a different database as this is a database that searches other databases. Sometimes you may see a large list here, but there's only one here. So I'm going to click on this link and it's going to take me to a database called ScienceDirect where the full text of this article is. And I can see there's an abstract here. If I scroll down, um, let's see, the aims of this paper are to examine the religious and cultural influences on the mental health beliefs of Muslims and provide an understanding of mental health problems and its implication in counseling and spiritual interventions. It looks like the abstract is providing general information and general challenges that people encounter but you know it doesn't say this cohort this survey we stud this study there's no objective metrics so i do want to scroll through to see if that's going to come up there this mentions general guidelines and gives a little background And I do notice that this particular article is out of the UK. You may have certain parameters in your assignment that it must be in the US. Um, but again, always check with your professor. In this particular database, ScienceDirect, if you try to share it by email, it'll just email you the permalink. Again, I would suggest downloading the PDF and having it straight in your device. If you're not working on your own device, I would download it and then email it to yourself um, from whatever device you're on. So I'm going to quickly demo 
our other similar multi-search database. I'm going to click off of this. And we have another one which we used previously to Primo, but it's a little bit older, but we like it so we keep it around. Under search tools, it's this link called EBSCO Discovery Service. And I'm going to do the exact same search. I'm going to do Muslim and health beliefs. Peer review. And over here, I'm going to pick my dates 2015 to 2020. You may find very similar results to the ones you find in Primo. You may find different ones. It's a different database. Um, it just indexes the articles and other items in there differently. And from here I have about 220 results. I'm just going to play with the keyword. I'm not going to put in something more broad, but I'm just going to try something a little bit different. Like if I take away beliefs and I put in healthcare. And now I have a little bit more. I have 943. This database is owned by the same company as the one that owns CINAHL. Um, so the layout is very, very similar. So I'm going to try this one. This one is also place specific maternal health care challenges confronting Arab Muslim refugee women in Triad, North Carolina. There is no abstract, so I'm just going to open this one straight up. Or no abstract provided. I'm seeing some general information here. I don't feel, I don't see anything that says survey, study, cohort, anything like that. They seem to be providing general information is specific to um, what the authors have seen with people living in North Carolina. And it does have sections on a number of topics. Contraception, prenatal and postpartum care. does mention a survey here, but it just looks like they did it to um, get some quotations from patients themselves. All right, so now we've looked at a few research databases and how to use them. I'm going to quickly show you the nursing guide on the library homepage. So I'm going to click off of this. And under research help, it's this last link here, research guides. On the drop down, I'm going to select Nursing and Allied Health. And I'm going to click on the Nursing and Allied Health Guide. So the Nursing Guide has uh, research help that we went over, lists of databases, how to find nursing books, as well as APA style help. So finally, that brings us to APA style. Um, which is citation and formatting. We have a guide in the home page, but our guide, as well as pretty much every other college and university guide, is heavily based on something called Purdue OWL. So I've typed in Purdue OWL into Google and I get my APA style Purdue OWL link. And while the citation generators are great and they make your life so, so much easier, um, they are automatically generated citations, so occasionally you get something a little funky. And every once in a while, uh, depending on what you're doing, doing journal articles is very, very straightforward. 
you might find something that's not a journal article or a book. You might find a brochure, a government doc, or something like that, which might be a little bit harder to cite. This will tell you how to do it. It also shows you how to do in-text citations. So I'm going to click on the in-text citation link over here on the left menu. So the auto citations on databases will give you the link that goes in your reference list, or rather the reference that goes in your reference list. This will give you the short quotation that goes in the body of your paper. And it shows you some examples here. This website also has an APA sample paper. It's also on this left menu. And this sample paper will give you examples with explanations of everything you could possibly put into, a, into an APA style paper. You may not use every single heading or every single element, but it will show you everything you can possibly use. And all of us as members of RCC have access to Microsoft Office 365 which you can get to through my RCC if I click on here. You do need to make an account with your RCC email, but it is free. I don't have Microsoft Office downloaded on my computer, so I use this. Here we go, Office 365. I already have an account, so it's gonna log me straight in. And I have the Microsoft Office suite, but it functions like Google Docs, so in that you can share documents, multiple, multiple people can edit them online, but it has almost all the functionality of Microsoft Office. Now, whereas Google Docs can be very limited. So if I click on Word, I'm gonna click on APA style paper. It gives me a whole template for an APA style paper. So I can just take out their information and replace it with mine. And this also saves quite a bit of time and energy rather than formatting and citing your papers manually. So this will conclude the video, but it is not the final word in research help for this assignment, this class, or your time at RCC. If you need more help, please feel free to reach out to us. That's what we're here for.